almost time. We have another five minutes. Plants are really feeling stress. I, I need to see you. There. That better? It's not so bad, is it? On the inside. I suppose it's whatever we make of it. We can see out, at least. What's left to see? Worlds, galaxies, your face. Citizens, at the sound of the tone, you will shelter within your hermetically sealed plexi sands and remain inside until further notice. Rest assured that we are doing everything in our power to defeat this invisible enemy and restore peace and prosperity to our beloved city-state. We've got your back. Remember, unity is our oxygen. Long live rock and roll! Did he actually just say that? Dude stoned. Who can blame him? Prepare your plexi sands. The countdown begins. Ten, I, I don't think I can do this. Nine, eight, seven, six. I'll die five, here. I won't let you, damn it. Three, breathe. Two. Let me breathe for you. One, take my take my breath, shot. my lungs. You will let my hear heart from us both. again. 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 If only I could touch you. Sean? Gabby. Do you realise that this is our two-week anniversary? I love that about you. The Sir Galahad factor. Two weeks today, I was sitting in the, in the cafe opposite your flat. And I stepped out onto my balcony. In your bathroom. It was a kimono. You were naked underneath How it. How did you know? I, I just did. And then a breeze swept in from Africa and just parted your robe. Kimono? Just a little. A flash of thigh and then you turn and gaze down at me. You were squinting. <laughs> I'd taken off my Ray-Bans to get a better look. I thought at any moment you'd vanish into your flat and I'd spend my next ten lifetimes searching for you. Or worse. Wake up and realise I'd only dreamt you. So poetic. You took out your lipstick and wrote your name on the window. And you texted me. One day we will sit together at this cafe and we will tell each other secrets that will lay bare every yearning known to mankind. We will. Yearning. That's so, like, 19th century. <laughs> I'm just happy that our story has a beginning. Beginnings are the best part. I don't like middles. Endings make me weep. Even happy ones. No endings then. I was sat in the cafe opposite your flat. And I stepped out onto my balcony. And an invisible plague descended upon the I place. don't like that part. Delete it. Sorry. How's this? We took one look at each other and turned into two pillars of salt and waiting for the rain. Stay still while I sketch you. Brood. You remind me of a cherub when you brood. How do you put up with it? My melancholy. Now you sound like Lord Byron. Is that even a thing? Gabriella. Gabby. Th this may not be the best time, but... Chin up. Nose to the right. We've never actually spoken about our feelings. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god, no, 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 no. My cat. What? Here, kitty. I, I didn't kitty. even know you I should always like to hide, but lately, well, I don't know, animals sense when something sucks. Same with plants. Symbiosis. This is so not the time for four syllable words. I will feed my cat. She'll dehydrate, she'll. Someone will take her in. My neighbour used to leave a saucer of milk out for strays. Humans have an innate nature to... Shut up! 
Shut up and let me mourn my cat. Look, I'll feed your cat. I'll bring her to my place and feed her. You do that for me. How dangerous can it be? I'll take my bike. I'll, I'll be there and back in, in 20 minutes. <laughs> I can't let you. But you just said. Don't. I'd, I'd never forgive myself if... I, I really don't mind. Why depend on strangers? Just, just don't. Like I said, some, some good Samaritan is, is bound to take pity on her. Just forget it, hmm? <sighs> I can't. When will I get another chance to be a hero? Do not break the seal. You heard Command Central. Just... Just chill, okay? Um, how about some music? Well, dance with me. <laughs> not now. Not caged. Don't go getting all Tennessee Williams on me. <laughs> dance. I want to feel your two hands on my ass. <laughs> You're heavenly. <laughs> Grind those killer hips. Citizens, stay calm. All non-essential workers will remain in their plexisands. All essentials will report immediately to Command Central. As of tonight, we will observe a blackout. Effective immediately. Gabby? I'm still here, my love. I, I see you now. You your silhouette. <sighs> Fuck them. Who do you suppose... They are. What does it matter? They're interchangeable. Slap labels on us. Flip switches. You're even more beautiful in this light. Non-essential. Artists. Gardeners. Non-essential. I rather like being a non. There's a, there's a certain freedom to it. Would you rather be a meat packer? Oh, must you always be so... Rational. <laughs> For the planet's sake, could we just dial down the negativity? Why can't you just let me rage? Fuck them! Fuck their patriarchal pronouncements! Fuck their facelessness! Fuck this plexisan! Fuck that I'm here, alone, stuck in the dark when I should be with you! In bed, doing stuff. We will, once it's safe. When has life ever been safe? Don't we get to live before we die? Citizens, it's come to our attention that some non-essentials may be feeling useless, unworthy, parasitic. You're sitting idle in your plexi sands. No purpose, no paycheck. Not much going on between the sheets. Remember these words from the prophet. Stand together, yet not too near together, for the pillars of the temple stand apart, and the oak tree and the cypress grow not in each other's shadow. Later. Now they're quoting Gibran. Next it'll be Rumi, the Dead Sea Scrolls. Long day. L let's try to rest, huh? I've been thinking uh, about our first date. How about I charter a, a, a prop plane? We could fly out to an island. <laughs> a deserted island. You could just come by for me on your bike. Too prosaic. No, we, we, we fly into the stratosphere and write mile high letters. Gabby loves Sean. Gabriella loves Sean. In mile high letters. Then you do. Love me? I'm saving the formal declaration for our first date. F for now, let's just say I'm mad about you. God, you're such an anachronism. Close your eyes. I, I was sitting in the cafe opposite your flat. Brooding. Wishing I could levitate. Naked under my kimono, hoping you would notice. I stepped out onto my balcony. You craned your neck. Stop. This is where we freeze the frame. No middle, no endings. Then we agree, on the precise moment. You craned your neck. And the purest breeze stirred between us. How 
how could something dark and nefarious stalk us in that honeyed pre-dawn? Desire and innocence merged. Every molecule in our beings knew that something orgasmo-revolutionary had begun. Though neither of us felt inclined to utter the next word. Or to make a next move. For this is... And will eternally remain. Our beginning.